Hello and welcome to Good Clean Gaming. I'm your host, Chilindo, and today we're playing Life in Bunker, which is a game that will be released in the near future. Uh, I may wait until it's actually released on Early Access before making a series. Haven't decided yet, but uh, for now I just want to give you guys a quick taste of what it's like. Basically, uh, you're a bunch of colonists in a bunker and you're trying to survive. And there are mole people and all kinds of needs to satisfy. It's very planet-based-esque slash Nomoria slash Dwarfen Fortress slash pretty much all those other slash games that you can think of. Um, hide rifts and mines, we don't need to do that. Um, small bunker, we'll we may do that in the future just to make it more exploratory. But uh, we're just going to call this a gameplay for now. Uh, small world size, and we're going to leave the tutorial on. I'm actually going to talk you through the tutorial so I can explain what the game is having you do, rather than having to us having to read it. So, here we go. Compulsory introductory course, okay? Move, moving the camera around, that's WASD, so uh, W is up, D is right, A is, or excuse me, S is down, A is to the left. And then we have a Q and E to rotate the camera, and F and G to zoom in and out. Z and X will change camera angle like this. And so you have all these different camera buttons. You also have the time up here, the top left hand corner. You can make it go faster and slower. You can click these buttons to have the uh, main layer, which is showing what we're seeing now, the water layer and the electricity layer. So it's kind of like, almost like, you know, city skylines showing you where all the power and water is coming from in those layers. Oxygen, 100%. You want to keep that high so people can breathe, a la, you know, planet base. We, we remember all those trials and travails of people suffocating. Um, hmm. And next we have, this shows what level we're on. You can go down to four levels uh, in the current game, it looks like. And you do those through lifts, which are elevators in American. But are lifts in English. Let's see. Da, 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 da. This button, tab, it's different. It's actually a different icon now than what's showing in the tutorial, but it's the tab button actually lets you see all kinds of statistics and information. Then we have these buttons on the left here. Those are for cursor, fundamental structures, infrastructure, and destroy. So your cursor lets you select um, machines and select colonists. The second button here lets you build like walls and floors and utilities so like power and water and then this is for building furniture basically it's for building your kitchen and your beds and your toilets and your showers and your all the other things you need to build are right here and then number four destroy with the little bomb symbol that's for destroying walls and making new rooms and also apparently dismantling fundamental objects didn't realize that oh no walls yeah yeah i, I do realize that okay so you can dismantle infrastructure so like things objects you can build you dismantle those but you can destroy things like walls power cables water cables okay at the top we have all this information kind of outlines outlines it here but we have right here population follow my mouse cursor up here population you got research we have garbage we have building materials we have ore we have, uh, these are fruits, vegetables, grains, and fish. Haven't had much experience with anything other than vegetables yet. And then we have the main menu, which is that little, uh, whatever that thing is, gear over on the top right. Uh, now, next, we have, it teaches you how to incubate, which is basically going to this little thing, right? Every base is a little different, so, when you're starting out. So, this is the incubator incubator here's here's the incubation machine and we click this button to incubate some new colonists so basically we're creating new colonists three new colonists and, and now it's teaching us how to uh, assign professions now you can do that through using this mouse uh, using the pointer here pointer finger and clicking on one of the colonists and choosing profession from the tab here and choosing a profession you can also go to bunker stats or tab and you can select what you want everybody to be. So I'll go ahead and do that because I want basically to have everybody set up. Uh, I'm going to have one scientist. We'll make that you. We'll make you a farmer, you an engineer. We'll grab a uh, cook. And we'll grab a janitor. And we'll make a bunch of workers because early on we're going to need a lot of workers. It's telling us to assign janitor so that uh, janitor can put stuff in the waste container. Uh, we already did that. Next, we want to make space for uh, another room. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we're going to lay out floors. 
and all this other kind of stuff and I'll just basically show you uh, instead of us having to read through all this so let's set up the last of our workers and we probably need let's get two janitors okay so first things first let's build another room well let's look around here's a mine we're going to be using that later uh, where would be a good place here's another mine where would be a good place to actually set up a bedroom I'm gonna go out this way and instead of going that maybe right there set check there's a mole man out there we're probably gonna have to attack it and wow so quickly we're going into our first combat that's amazing don't die don't die don't die don't die don't die get him get him quick nice okay now we got to let's go ahead and just clear out this whole area out here and then wall it off so the mole mole men can't get at us. Go ahead and tell them to get started because it's going to be we're going to put a lot of stuff out here. So I'm just going to clear out a lot of room. So we're just making basically just demolishing these walls. Now get to work on that. First things first, we're going to want to make uh, flooring in our new room. So this is going to be our bedroom. We're, let's, let's make some red tiles. Kind of give it a little bit of a different look from the rest of the base. Something like that. Maybe three wide. Check. Each time I'm doing things, I'm laying it out. I'm outlining like the pattern and blueprint of what I want it to do. And then I push the check button to tell them to go ahead and get started. So here, see the check button? I've got this white thing here. Once I click check, it turns yellow, and it will be basically queued for them to work on. Next, I'm going to put beds in. So we're going to put single bed. We haven't unlocked bunk beds yet, so we'll put in single beds. And I'm going to put them side by side so that it's a little more space efficient. We'll put four beds in here. Maybe we'll get four more right here, or two more right there. And now we're going to have six beds now. We can go ahead and wall that off if we'd like. Or we can conserve space by just leaving it open and having them continue to open up these areas. And we're on a small map, so this is actually the edge of the map. So I'll just probably build a wall out here. Small earthquakes can cause landfall on empty tiles until janitor clean up the debris. You cannot build on these. So every now and then we'll have a, a earthquake and then boom. If you saw right there, there was a pile of dirt. And a janitor has to come by and clean that out before we can actually do anything there. We need toilets and shower pods. We'll go ahead and get that. I just want to get this kind of outlined first. Let's put some flooring in here for the beds to sit on. So it looks nice. Nice and livable. Okay. And why, why do you say in the same place we put in showers... And that kind of stuff showers and toilet cabins well maybe we'll put it right across from the beds so we have a do I want to put it there I want I'm trying to conserve space a little bit so let's let's think about this maybe we'll do something like here and then flip it around backwards there no 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 gotta dismantle that now no no <laughs> Uh, I want to have I have a wall out there just, you know, for reasons. So, I don't think there's actually a need to have a wall there, but I, well, you know what? Not going to have a wall there. Not going to care. We're just going to have an empty black hole on the edge of our base for now. I'll care later. And we'll put the toilet cabins here and here. Okay? And we can go ahead and put some flooring down. Maybe put some blue tile to say, hey, this is the bathroom area. We can do this in separate rooms, but I just... Not really reason to right now that I know of. Um, okay, now we have to actually connect them to water, which we can do. So to connect to water, we're going to go to uh, this button here, and then down to electricity and water, and then we're going to connect them to the water pipe. And see, the flashing blue light tells me there's no water. Blue means water. If it's flashing, it's not happening. So let's just bring in the water pipe through here, underneath the... Um, underneath the bed and across. And people will start working on that. So we're going to be good there. And once they get connected, we'll complete this little mission up here. And it'll give us our next mission, which will be mining. 
So we have to get a mining machine and put it on an ore deposit basically. So I mentioned that this is an, uh, an ore deposit here. It has 217 uh, ore inside of it. This is 291. I'm going to go ahead and clear out this side because oh, it's in a bad spot because I'm not going to be able to get through here. It's kind of blocked off. Um, let's just do this. Let's come in from the side, make a separate room for the refinery and uh, ore based areas. Just clear out this whole thing. Give these guys plenty to do. No reason why we shouldn't do this. Other than mole men, which will be attacking us. But, you know, other than that, not a big deal. Let's go ahead and just clear out all that stuff. Get to work, people. I've given you a mission. In fact, I'm going to get rid of one of my janitors and make him a workman. There they come. So blue is workmen, because the you can see that they're running out to help with the other blue shirted people each each shirt color basically it's like star trek each shirt color is going to be a different job mining machine next mining machine is going to be production down here so it's in our oh we had a death oh wonder how that happened ah mole men we have an invading mole man mole man hole right here well Hmm. Let's go ahead and stop this demolition work for now. And hopefully we can get some people um, checking out that mole man over there. Okay, I think they got it. Do we have do we have a janitor? We need one janitor. We're gonna have to have one janitor to, to close up that hole right there. I believe I'm not sure, but flooring may stop holes from sprouting, so let's see if building building out some flooring will stop them from sprouting up like that just go ahead and define that area for now next we'll demolish all this go ahead and get that started again there we go and we're going to put a refinery in here not a refinery, a mining machine, which is, like I said, the facilities button, then down production, and then down here on mining machine. Boom. Done. We have three berths. Aw. Cool. So those incubators that we started early in the game, they were born. Uh, they're zero years old, so they can't actually do anything yet. So we'll have to wait for them to grow up. Okay, so next, we're, somebody's going to come over here and build this. It's going to be... Uh, our worker. One of the workers will come and symbol this. As soon as he gets done, if we click on it, we can see the progress. As soon as he gets done, it's probably going to tell us to build a refinery. So, I'll show you where that is. So, this is going to give us ore, which will give us this right here. 200, 500 ore. And then after that, we're going to turn that into building materials, which we have 580 of 1,000 right now. Uh, this needs power, yes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and give it some power. So that's under fundamental structures, electricity and water, and then power cable. You see the green power cables flowing everywhere. And we will go ahead and just connect it right across there. Somebody should be able to reach that. And when they do, they should be able to power the mining machine. Now we can turn it, using the refinery, we can turn it, refinery, we can turn it into, from ore into building materials. So we can do that through this structure here, then production, and then refinery. And we put this anywhere. We can put it anywhere we want. We don't have to be defined by where we want to put it. However, it has to be on reinforced concrete. So if we look on here, uh, we could probably change some of this over to reinforced concrete and fit it in somewhere. Um, or... We can just like to shove it in uh, in here next to the ore machine. Somebody should build that. I'll throw in a refinery. Come on. There we go. So now it's going to be built. Somebody's already, already building it. And that'll refine this ore we have. Now, the ore goes automatically into storage, by the way. So, see, storage, container, ore, 203 of 500. 
So this is going transferring directly into here. And then this storage is a transfer going to transfer directly into the refinery. So there's no hauling back and forth to worry about. Okay. Yep, it's basically telling us about the storage places. Now you can put those out of the way since they don't they don't need to be hauled back and forth. You can put them out of the way and put all your worker buildings, your production buildings, you put those in the center. At least that's the way I'm planning on doing it. Next we have a kitchen. People need to eat, right? So we'll go ahead and make a kitchen and connect it up. So residential zone, kitchen. We can go ahead and just put it right next to the beds. Right about there. And we also need to make a canteen table. It's going to ask us for that afterwards. But this will let people sit down and actually eat at the table once the cook is finished making stuff. And we have to connect the kitchen to water and power. So we'll go ahead and do that. So here's power cable. We can connect that across. We could go through the walls if we want to. But, you know, I try not to overthink it. At least at first. Later on, you're going to have to overthink it when you uh, have multiple power sources, multiple water sources, because if they overlap, uh, they will short each other out, basically. So you're going to want to plan yourself out a little better than later on in the game. Early in the game, um, I'm not going to worry about it too much because I haven't got that far yet. But once you have multiples, you probably want to, in order to avoid crossing water pipes and electric pipes, you'll probably want to make your lines as compact as possible. And don't worry too much about it because you can always redesign your lines. You, you don't have to, you know, you're not permanently putting down water pipes. They can be moved. Uh, next, they need to make food so they can cook it. So we're going to make vegetable patch and assign a farmer. And with the kitchen, you made a kitchen and assigned a cook. So it's all profession-based stuff. Uh, okay, so next we have vegetable patch we need to make. We'll go ahead and do that. Um, I can put it, I'll put it down here somewhere. And you can, you can put, you can designate rooms and everything. You don't have to do it very structured, you know, or do it like this at all. But, um, you can do it really structured or you can do it, you know, just kind of put it anywhere, anywhere it fits or makes sense. So, yeah, just do the, do your thing. I'm going to put down a bunch of metal. Why not? I'm going to put down one farming area. We're probably going to expand it to two. So this is a vegetable patch. We'll just put it right about there. Uh, come on. Got to wait for them to actually build the floor before I can put it down. Doink. There you go. Slow down time a little bit again. So we're going to build that. And we're going to assign a farmer. We've already assigned a farmer in our tab button. Right there. And honestly, at the very beginning of the game, it's, it's probably no reason to have anybody do anything other than all workers and maybe and, and a janitor. So like all workers and one janitor is probably a good way to have the early game. Also, engineers start becoming useful later on. And then once you get a kitchen, you need a cook. Once you get a vegetable patch, you need a farmer. And then once you get like infirmaries and research stations, you need scientists. So you can assign people gradually or you can just do it all at once. Power cable. Go ahead and connect that in. Water cable. Bring that. We're going to have to bring it from further away than I thought. I, I, I would have thought this out and put it next to another water water, water uh, building, but I guess I don't. I guess I won't, I won't worry about it now. I'll just plug it in. They'll come through and they'll just, you know, attach all that. Okay, we're good now. They'll go ahead and get that connected. We'll go ahead and fast forward while they're working on that. So a good rule of thumb later on, I, I completely forgot about it, is kind of put your... Oh, we can't go through... We can't go through that. I didn't know that. Kind of put your water buildings next to your water buildings and put your um, electric buildings next to your electric buildings. And that will help you keep these lines short and concise, which is really what you want. Okay. Now it should get water now. Okay. Next we have storages. We need to actually store our vegetables that we produce in these in these containers. So we're going to build a fridge and also a resting area. So first things first, let's build a fridge. That'll be in 
Residential? No. Storages. Storages. And then there's a button that says fridge right over here. We can just throw this anywhere. I'll throw it right here. Somewhere-ish. Yeah, right about there. Why not? And then the next thing we want to build is a sofa. Sofa is... I thought it was residential area. No, it's resting zone. There's resting zones and residential areas, and those are different things for some reason. Um, but I'll put it over here where they can rest. After they get done having a nice shower, they can take a nap on the sofa. The lives of these colonists, man, they're very relaxed. I think next is probably going to have me build an exercise machine, but we'll see if that see if that's next or not. What happened? <laughs> Grumpy Ned Zappa has died. Nobody liked him anyway. Ah, we got in trouble with some more mole men. So we got to add in an exercise bike. We'll do that. So one thing about if you expand like this, one, one problem is you're going to run into mole men more often. And so if you're worried about losing a colonist early, you know, just be a little more concise with your building. But yeah, he got rid of the mole man, and I'm guessing these things are garbage. So they're going to have to collect all those. Okay, next, build exercise cycle. Residential zone. Resting zone. Sorry. Exercise cycle. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to remember which ones are resting, which ones are residential. We can put that, like, on the side here next to the toilets. So you can get a nice exercise after you get done, you know, um, relieving yourself in the restroom. Yeah. Okay. That's going to get built. Then people can get ill, so we're going to build an infirmary. That's going to be facilities, then residential zone, then over here there's an infirmary. It takes a good bit of space, too, so we can go ahead and put it... Oh, I thought I could fit it. No! Really thought it was going to fit there. Uh, well, let's just stuff it over in the corner here somewhere. Somewhere like that. We already have assigned a scientist, but a scientist works in, work in the infirmary. They have to be attached to power. Uh, maybe I will put it somewhere near power. And that way I won't have to build such long lines. When I actually do a real series of this, I'll be much more thoughtful as to where I put things. Let's flip that around. I didn't like the way that looked. Infirmary. There we go. That looks better. Right next to, put the, put the infirmary bed, and then right at the head of the infirmary bed is these gears that are just churning up rocks into 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 building material. It's perfect. If 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 you make a mistake on the operating table, you just you, you just you know just you just just give them a little nudge. Try again next time. Oh, that's evil. That's so evil. Um, hmm. Oh, you don't have a profession. I think our little ones have grown up. They need professions now. They grow up so fast. Next, we need to put in a research station. So that's what it's saying here. And then we're done. So let's make let's make some people... Let's get some people some jobs here. You, worker. Oh, people. Yep, people are growing up. You, janitor? No. Engineer. We lost our engineer, so we're having another one now. And that's it. I think. Oh, no, one more. One more. Janitor. That's all you can really do other than cooking. Okay. So, kitchen person makes food, throws it into the canteen table where people can eat. And then, infirmary heals people. Refinery makes building materials out of ore. The mining station makes ore. Or, or pulls, uh, creates ore. Or harvests ore. Whatever you want to call it. Vegetable patch makes your vegetables for sending to the kitchen to make food, for sending to the canteen table. In the meantime, it's stored in the fridge. Here's a waste container. When that gets full, you're going to have to build another waste container. I do not know yet how to actually empty a garbage container. I assume at some point you're going to run out of space for garbage. But I'm, I'm guessing that later on in the tech tree, there is a tech tree. Later on in the tech tree, I'm guessing there's going to be a way to incinerate that garbage. It's just my guess. We have a shower pod. 
Those are available for showering for cleanliness purposes. We got toilet for, um, well, you guys use toilets. You know what I'm talking about. Stats, if you look at the stats of a person, by the way, you can see their fatigue. That's going to be sleep. You can tell the resident to go to sleep. Hunger, you can tell the resident to eat. Uh, we got cleanliness, you can tell them to shower. And they do it automatically if their percentages get low enough, obviously. Uh, toilet, they can go to the toilet. Leisure, they can take a break. And then sport, they can get some exercise on the exercise bike that we currently have. Uh, what else do we have over here? We have three different types of storage containers, so you can flip these between. I can change this from a building material to an ore to an unassigned, and it'll just store whatever. This is a water pump. Water pump is, shows, I think this shows that it's using, um, oh, I can't actually read this yet. Uh, producing 150 liters, consuming 145 liters, but I don't know what the 3% is. That may be how long it is till it gets repaired, like it's 3% damaged. I don't know. This one's 400, generating 450 kilowatts of power using 320 kilowatts of power. Uh, fridge can store all, ki all types of things. Uh, oh, water pipes are broken. So things will break as you're going through the game. And you're, you have to have at least one engineer so the engineer can go and, you know, basically patch it up. So, oh, oxygen level started to decrease because the water pipes are broken. So if we look, we may be able to locate where that is. There, right right there. So it's, it's stopping us from purifying air. Somebody came over. They're working on repairing it. Uh, wrong screen came up. Anyway, they repaired it underneath the ground, and now it's working again. Now our oxygen is going back up, and we're good. What else? These are air purifiers, so we need oxygen, and this purifies the air. This is a big air purifier. It generates even more. And this shows us our utilities, so we can get a summary of that. And that's for each level. So we're on level 1 right now. We can go down to level 4 currently. Uh, here's our research. We actually have a research tree, and so you can read through some of the stuff we can research right off the bat. This is for workers. You got the residential zone. You can take a look at that. Utilities. We have waste recycling. Here's where we have uh, garbage waste gets recycled. Uh, we got other things down here. Farming. You can see the farming technologies. Repairing. That's these. Medicines, that's these. And then, let's see, events. This basically shows everything that shows up at the top right-hand corner of the screen. Shows up here, and you can kind of look at it, summarize it, you know, sort it, whatever you want to do. Residents, you can actually assign all the resident um, jobs here. You can edit their names, you can focus on them, you can see how happy they are, and if they have any diseases. You can see their overall health and their age. I don't know what the um, how old they are that uh, when they actually pass away. So if we look at our colonists, a lot of them have white hair already. So I'm wondering if possibly... Oh, we got another mole man attack. I'm wondering if possibly um, they're already getting kind of old. There goes the mole man. Okay. So, yeah. A lot to learn in this game, obviously. A lot of things to do. We got our first patient being treated it looks like very Star Trek style their happiness is going down because they were injured hopefully it'll start going up once they get you know all this all their needs taken care of uh, anything else we have the entrance we see when you see how long uh, we've been going through the main entrance is sealed for 50 cycles it will be open when the atmosphere is suitable for living so it looks like the current um, the current time you have to stay in here minimum is 50 cycles. That's pretty cool. I guess 50 cycles is roughly 500 years. That's neat. So if that means that one of those cycles is a decade, we can actually see that this means that most of our colonists are 60. So we'd want to start incubating new colonists now to make sure they don't, you know, pass away and we don't have enough people to run the place. So. We can go ahead and do that now if we want. Just start incubating them. You probably want to do those gradually because otherwise you're going to run out of food and starve to death a la Planet Base or any of the other games that are like this. Um, but yeah, I think that's all the kind of early game stuff you really need to see to get going. Um, 
yeah. So the first thing after, one one last thing, the first thing after the tutorial is over that I noticed is that you're basically at the cap of water. And you're probably going to want to start generating more food is my guess. So you may want to uh, build another water pump and get some more vegetable, um, vegetable patches going. And start generating research. We, one thing we didn't do is we didn't put in that research center, did we? That would be residential zone. For some reason, the research center and infirmary are in the residential zone. Uh, does not... Oh, we need 200 building materials. So in seven more building materials, we'll be able to build our research center. And that'll be the last building we need to build to kind of have a nice, stable start. Waiting. Let's speed up time a little bit. 98, 99, 200. Okay, we can build this here. And that will be, that will basically do it. We're on, we're basically have been in here 50 years according to the clock. Um, so 50, 50 years, we need to go 500 years and we can escape from the bunker. So neato completo, wow. Um, game seems awesome so far. It's about to go into early access. You guys will be able to play it very soon. And I will hopefully look forward to playing more of it as time allows. Let me go ahead and connect this thing up. So let me know what you think. I would love to hear your opinions of this game. It looks awesome already, and I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, thanks again. Feel free to click that subscribe button if you're interested in seeing more videos like this. And remember, keep it clean.